Former President Trump is back in New York City courtroom today. He faces 34 counts of falsifying business records to cover up hush money payments. Michael George has the latest. Former President Trump arrived at court Thursday morning as testimony resumes in his hush money trial. Before entering, he revealed his lawyers just filed what he called a major motion in appellate courts. Concerning the absolutely unconstitutional gag order, where I'm essentially not allowed to talk to you about anything meaningful that's going on in the case, and many good things are come, going on with the case. It shouldn't have been filed. Former adult film star Stormy Daniels is back on the stand. On Tuesday, she testified about an alleged sexual encounter with Trump in 2006, at times in graphic detail. Trump denies the encounter took place. While payments to Daniels are part of the prosecution's case, legal experts say the graphic testimony is not relevant and could prejudice the jury. The point is that she received that hush money payment, and the point is for her to talk about when and where and how she received that payment, but not the details of the alleged sexual encounter here. Trump's lawyers asked for a mistrial. Judge Juan Mershon denied the motion, but acknowledged some of this would have been better left unsaid. Daniel's testimony is a buildup to another key prosecution witness, Trump's former personal lawyer, Michael Cohen. He arranged the $130,000 payment to Daniels and later went to prison for orchestrating the payments and other charges. Hello, everybody. Trump, who is running for president, has repeatedly said this entire trial is politically motivated. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Hospitals in 